So I've been getting ahead of some things since the storm happened and it's time to send off. This is my favorite postcard. Somebody's gonna get this. I know who, but I'm not gonna tell you. And I got this one here from Savannah. This is from the uh, an art museum. They had a really cool uh, Japanese block print exhibit. That was in one of my videos from the Long Beach, Washington Kite Festival out there in Seattle. I, I was actually in a small plane flying around the Space Needle the first time I saw it, got it there. Oh, that's cool, cool oyster bar in, in uh, Charleston I went to. Oh, here's a special one, the Hatteras Lighthouse postcard. This is from a video where I flew the Hatteras Lighthouse kite right in front of the Hatteras Lighthouse. It was a really fun day. My friend Hunter designed that kite. Nice work. All of these postcards are going to land in the mailboxes of Patreon subscribers. If you subscribe to me on Patreon for $5 a month, I will send one of these to you and I will hand write a little note on the back. Every month, you'll get one. You can look forward to that. 10 different people are gonna get postcards this month. After being cooped up in the house for a couple of days with the storm, I thought I'd get out and take us to someplace interesting. Someplace I've wanted to go for quite some time. I've been here before, but I haven't taken you here before. It's a, a staple of Orlando, Lee and Rick's. It's a great place. I love those oysters. What a cool building, huh? <laughs> USS Lee and Rick's. When I first moved to Florida, some of my friends told me about this place. Been here for a long, long time. I don't know how many years. I'll try to find out once we go in, but you're gonna love it. Unless you hate oysters, then you're you're gonna hate it. But you're probably gonna love it. As you walk in, there's some old photos on the walls. Lee and Rick. Right, down here on the end. Everybody gets crackers. And they got like a million crackers ready to go. Napkins up top. This place is the real deal. This is like a true oyster house. They shuck them right in front of you. They got these concrete troughs that were made in the place. And then you just shuck them right there and you have a little conversation. You drink your beer and there you go. Thanks, man. After inspecting the menu, I discovered some things. Draft beer is $3 a mug or $8.50 a pitcher, so yeah. There's some excellent stuff on this menu besides the oysters. They got like shrimp and all the stuff, crawfish, gator, oh, yeah. crab. We got the gator bites. Yeah, yeah. The server already knows me. He brought a toothpick. Just brought it over. They train you how to do that? <laughs> it's reality. Really, you have to be in that life. Well, I'd be like, home and I'd have bought work. If I had to do that, I'd be dead. Right, you got to be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, on um, Saturday, I shot seven buckets for one party. Yeah. It's all wrong. So this cooler back here, they keep pre-made buckets of oysters in and they just pop them out and easily get to you with it. Chuck them in front of you. They do. They steam them in the back. If you want them steamed, they, they do that. They fry them too. They do some other stuff. I got a dozen raw. I'm probably going to get some other stuff while I'm here. I got the gator bites. They're awesome, by the way, but I've got the dozen raw. I love oysters. What kind of peppers are you using there? There's grove peppers. Habaneros, ghost peppers, chilies, it, there's a bunch of different ones. This is how I do it at least. You now they got this vinegar hot sauce stuff. Do a little soaking in the tub there. But it's so good. Oh my God. This spicy vinegar stuff is real. Wow, it's really spicy. It's so good. I've never had anything like it on an oyster before. Usually I just use like Crystal's hot sauce or I like Frank's hot sauce the best, but I've never had that on a oyster, believe it or not. But you know, there's various hot sauces that are around, but that hot vinegar stuff is the bomb. 
So they give you these sauces, they get you the, uh, the lemon juice, hot sauce. What do you call this stuff? Horseradish? What is this stuff? It's a uh, cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. They give you. you get three options there. And they have uh, some other things. You got oyster shooters you can get here too. They mix it with beer, not vodka. And uh, horseradish. I love horseradish. Salt and pepper. That's about it. Uh, there's a Chinese social media. This place is famous. And it's like, we get them all the time coming from China and all over there. And they're like, I've seen you. Yeah, I want you. I want you. I want you. We get videoed all the time. Oh no, I gotta, can I get, get the drinks? Bleach to, you know what I mean? It's already like a little bit in there. Never had an oyster shooter like that. It's very unique. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Why not? Why not? You know what I like that beer oyster shooter so much, I'm gonna make my own. Okay, oyster. This in there, this, some of this. I love it. Last one. I am going to keep two of these oyster shells because they have the beginning of a pearl growing in it. Do you see that little bump right there? It looks like like a pimple. Well, that's that's a, a pearl. Look at the history of the place written on the back of the menu. Lee and Rick's opened in 1950, and what it was was a nine-seater bar where people would come in here and just sit down at the bar, and all they could get was oysters and beer. That was it. They lived in the back of the joint and served people in the front. Then eventually it got added on to, now they have this world famous concrete bar that seats 50 people. Here it is, Lee and Rick's. Rick worked as an oyster shucker in a oyster place a lot like this in the panhandle of Florida a long time ago. And that's how he got the idea to do this. They became the only place in Orlando that offered oysters at all. Well, I ate my fill of oysters, had my fill of beer. This is a great place. If you're in Orlando, check it out. Well, friends, thanks for joining me here at Lee and Rick's. I will see you in the next video. Ooh, unfortunate casualty of the hurricane. Ugh.